What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and let's address the obvious elephant in the room right here right now and that is the fact that I have a goddamn space crater growing in the side of my face. I'm 20 years old. All this bullshit about how when you were younger, you know, when you're 13, you're like, oh, once you grow up, dude, you, you won't get acne ever again. But look at this. Living proof that you fucking can still get massive ass zits on your face. I don't think I've ever had a zit that big. But ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to deal with it as I deal with it walking out in public every single fucking day. And it's been like the last two, three days and it has sucked. And, you know, people just look at it and they're like, oh, you have a zit on your face. Did you know that? It's like, yes, I completely know I have a zit on my face. But anyway, we had a 50 second little intro about me talking about the zit on my face. So I already know what the, all the comments are going to be down below. They're going to be hating on the zit, which is a big, big old oof. But anyway, I said that I wasn't going to make a video about this Yannick Ngakwe situation. But then this Jalen Ramsey news came out today about him not getting a contract extension this year, which a lot of people overreacted to. It really doesn't mean that much. That just means the Jags are waiting to give him an extension, which is smart. But I am going to be talking to you guys on the history of Jaguars extending players and why the front office is to blame for all of this bad publicity, this bad move, everything like that. This is why the Jaguars front office is to blame with the Yannick Ngakwe and Jalen Ramsey situation, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, hit that intro. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. So, first of all, I understand. I get it. I get why the Jags aren't extending Jalen Ramsey right now. I don't understand at all why they're not extending Yannick Ngakwe or why they haven't made the effort to extend Yannick Ngakwe. I think it's stupid. I think he will get the bag, especially because he's making, like, what, $700,000 like on his contract for a guy that's gotten 29 and a half sacks in the last three years, which is the most out of anybody in his draft class. Like, he has more sacks than Joey Bosa. Like, Yannick Ngakwe is that dude, and he's been playing like he's that dude for a while. Like, two years ago or a year ago, you could have gave him an extension and no one would have debated that because he's one of the best edge rushers in the league, and he's so young, and he has so much potential to even surpass that and be better and be one of the all-time greats. Like, he has so much potential to be dominant. And I made a video, which is funny. It's almost like I called this exact fucking scenario happening, like, months ago, talking about would you rather have Yannick Ngakwe or Jalen Ramsey long term and everybody down below is like oh we can have both we can have both and in a perfect world we truly can have both but this front office is just so idiotic that in a perfect world our perfect world doesn't exist basically is what I'm saying this whole perfect world of us signing Yannick Ngakwe this year and then waiting and signing Jalen Ramsey next year you know after his fifth year option you know, that that's a perfect world, and that's what will happen. We got two franchise cornerstones still sitting in Duval County, but the way that this team operates, it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to do that or they're going to do that. You know, and you look at the contracts that they handed out and guys that they extended, you know, before they extended Jalen and before they extended Yannick and Gawkwe. Brandon Linder. I think Brandon Linder uh, deserved his extension. You know, there's people that are talking about this same scenario that say we extended Brandon Linder too early. We should have extended him a little later. I don't agree with that. I think Brandon Linder has played and proven that he is the best offensive lineman or one of the best at least offensive linemen that the Jaguars currently have on their roster. So Brandon Linder's a guy, I understand. Telvin Smith, with Telvin Smith contract, freaking... 2020 man you know it's it's looking back on it you think oh we shouldn't have extended him because you know he's pulling this stunt right now but at the time we did extend him it definitely made a lot of sense and it definitely warranted an extension in his case he was you know the mo he's the most consistent player on this jaguar defense like he deserved that payday that is what he deserved but they're going out here and extending all these offensive players that do not deserve this contract extension for example the most blatant example is Blake Bortles Blake Bortles got that extension after going to the AFC championship game and you know and and ended up being one place short of going to the Super Bowl 
They acted like Blake Bortles was the guy that brought the Jaguars to that point. It was not. It was the Jaguar defense. You shouldn't have extended Blake Bortles, at least to the amount of money and the amount of years you did. Instead, you should have focused more of that money on locking Jalen Ramsey and Yannick Ngakwe long term. You know, because these are guys that you just kept saying, oh, we don't got to worry about it. They're so young. You know, they're dominating. Don't have to worry. Don't have to worry. Don't have to worry. But now that we're getting to the point where you have to worry about it and you have to start putting pen to paper and writing those checks for these two, you guys don't want to do it. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I could totally see a situation where the Jags don't even sign both of them because that's just how the Jaguars work. It's like you guys put us in this situation as fans looking at the scenario and looking at the history that the team has of, you know, letting big marquee guys walk more often than not. And they also just suck at extending the right person at the right time. If it was me, I would have extended Jalen Ramsey last year or two years ago or at least gave him, you know, something. Like, you should have extended him a little bit. I under Jalen Ramsey, I guess, is a little bit more understanding because he has that fifth-year option. He has the ability to receive that and to be on this team for an extra year. So Jalen, I can understand. I don't think the Jags really should try and mess with that, but if it were me, I probably would have already extended Jalen Ramsey. But for Yannick and Gawkwe, there's absolutely nothing. Like, there's no excuse. You should have signed Yannick and Gawkwe either last year or the year prior. Like, that's how dominant this dude has been. Like, during the 2017 offseason is when you should have extended Yannick Ngakwe because he's not making a lot of money. He was a third-round draft pick, still still on his rookie contract. He ain't making that money, but he's still producing, and he's still balling out. And he went to all these voluntary OTAs, probably hoping that during that time, you know, the Jags were going to come around and extend him and bring him back, but they didn't. And now he has to, you know, pull this hold out. And it's, it's something that you can tell Yannick Ngakwe doesn't want to do. Like, he's like, hey, man, like, I've been here for all this voluntary shit, like, let's make, let's make this happen. Let's work this out. Let's make sure Duval is good for a long, long time on the defensive side of the ball. But the agent in the, you know, the front office just must not have agreed to something. Like, I don't care, dude. Like, the money has to be there. Even if you're trying to make him one of the higher paid edge rushers, you need to make that room to do that. Because, yes, I understand he's just one player, but having a bunch of solid players at different positions locked down for a long time is important. And Yannick Ngakwe is one of those guys you should lock down for a long time. It's like a no-brainer. You got Nick Foles now, three, four-year contract at the quarterback position, Andrew Norwell, six years, A.J. Boye, six years. But you can't extend your homegrown talent like come on these are guys that you drafted these are guys that you know produce these are guys that are game in and game out are gamers and produce for you and show why they help this jaguar defense be what this jaguar defense is and that's elite year in and year out ever since maybe the 2016 offseason even like going that far back like this defense is a great great defense and Jalen Ramsey and Yannick Ngakwe might be number one and number two for the best players on that defense and these are the guys that you're having contract troubles with why why are you having contract troubles with these guys with how good they are with how you know cornerstone and iconic they are with the Jaguars right now and you still cannot find a way to extend them like I don't understand Jalen Ramsey, I get. I get that one. I think that it's a better move, but I mean, like, we better be doing it, like, speedy quick, like, during next year's offseason because I, we cannot let Jalen Ramsey leave us. If we let Jalen Ramsey leave us, all he's going to do is ball out somewhere else and basically just bad talk the Jags. Like, he's just going to be like, well, I mean, they didn't want me, so here I am balling out, being a Hall of Fame player. Like, you know, I could have been with Jacksonville. I could have been the Jaguars' first Hall of Famer. Oh, look at me. You know, he he's going to be doing that. He's going to go ball out somewhere else. Same thing with Yannick Ngakwe. You want our offensive line to go up against Yannick Ngakwe? You know, what if he goes inside the division? Same thing with Jalen Ramsey. What if they go inside the division? You want to play those guys twice a year, knowing the vengefulness that they have in their soul against you for not extending them after the hard work and dedication that they have put into your program and your football team to take them to the AFC Championship game? And those are two guys that weren't hurt last year that played Every single snap. Like, Yannick Ngakwe was in there during when we were 5-11. and 11, Making plays. Doing big things for us. And you can't even give him the bag yet? You guys still haven't done that yet? You guys are going to let him stand, stay out, stand out, whatever you want to call it? 
hold out, you know, you're going to let him do that, you're going to do that. You're going to treat Yannick Ngakwe like that. Whatever, dude. Like, that. that's just so beyond garbage. And we need to extend Yannick Ngakwe as soon as we can. Because just events like this prove that the front office in Jacksonville has no idea what they're doing. You know, Tom Coughlin... I don't know, Tom Coughlin, Yannick Ngakwe is a Tom Coughlin guy, a dude with a great work ethic, shows up to work every day, the voluntary stuff, he works so hard, like, that is a Tom Coughlin guy to a fucking T, and you still cannot extend him yet. We better get something going close, because I'm going to be fired up if that video was right that I made earlier saying, would you rather have Yannick Ngakwe or Jalen Ramsey long term? You know, that we do get both of them and we don't have to choose because... And, and in that situation, ah, you know, it's still hard for me to pick which one I'd rather have. But Yannick Ngakwe deserves the contract. Give this guy his money. Make sure he gets paid because he can help the Jaguars win for a awful long time, ladies and gentlemen. And it's it's been proven. It's been proven. Like I said, most sacks from anybody from his draft class in 2016, that includes Joey Boza. Yannick Ngakwe has played hard, he deserves to get paid, and I don't care what you guys say, he needs the bag, and he needs it now, because we cannot survive without Yannick Ngakwe. I know we just signed Josh Allen, but Yannick Ngakwe has that special skill set, and has a special place in our hearts as Jags fans, and we need, 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 need to re-sign Yannick Ngakwe. And that was why the Jaguars front office is messing up. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody at work in me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a tremendous rest of your day.